Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, we got Payne's daughter Yarn to join our group. And that's probably going to be the last child unit we'll get to encounter in this adventure. There are plenty more that you could experience on your own playthrough though, so I hope you enjoy whoever you end up meeting. In this episode, we are going to continue on with the story for the rest of the game pretty much. There, Unless there are any uh, paralogs that get opened up through story progress, there'll be no more distractions. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and check the Obamas and see that we have five more thingies as usual. Uh, we got is that Rickon. Yes, it is. I'm on fire today. Uh, so does that mean you're a roasted Rickon? I don't know. Got more luck and resistance. Not like it matters because I never use him. Uh, we got good old Vake. The Vake never has an off day, but today he's definitely having an honor day. What? Uh, strength and resistance. I just got, like, major deja vu. Like, what Let's Play was it where there was, like, a gag? Like, we were calling a dog. Oh, it was Babysitting Mama. It was, like, it was, like, Goner or Gone It. Like, we were, like, naming a dog, Dog Gone It. Like, so the dog's name was Gone or something. I don't know. Him just saying honor reminded me of that. Don't know why, but whatever. Uh, what else we got? Oh, Chrome got strength of resistance. That's nice. And for Frederick, he got 26 experience. And that's taken care of. Let's go to support and see what we got. We got Chrome and Lucina for the B rank. Right. That should do it for today's training. Let's stop there. You have my gratitude. It still feels so strange to hear you call me that. Um, you don't like it? No. It's not that I dislike it, it's just different, is all. I'm still wrestling with the reality that I have a child, and that that child is you. Huh? I see. Hmm. Oh, but don't tell your mother. You know how she could be. What? <laughs> it always seems like you told her everything. In the future, I mean, you two were always so close. Oh, come now, you made us sound like a pair of fawning lovebirds. I'm sure we would never embarrass ourselves, especially at court. <laughs> so you say, but your blushing face seems a little less certain. <laughs> it feels good to share a secret. It's been too long. You were always sharing little uh, tidbits with me in the future. What? Was the future me really so fur furtive? Furtive? What? I've never heard that word before. I don't think of myself as a man of secrets. No, wait. Oh, they were just silly little things. Still, it gave me a thrill to hear them. <laughs> so the future me wasn't so much furtive, but more of a hopelessly doting father. Well... There was one thing you never did tell me. Really? Very well. How you and mother first met. Uh, uh, um... That's not the sort of story a daughter needs to hear. It's certainly one his daughter would like to hear. Why don't you make a little wager? If I manage to defeat you, you'll tell me. <sighs> I'm not so sure that's... What? That's certain you'll lose, eh? <laughs> Very well, I accept. <laughs> then get ready, father, because I'm serious about hearing this story. Right. And I'm serious about not telling it, so likewise. Wow, Robin really is the least interesting person I could have paired uh, Krom up with because she's literally the only one where we know uh, how she met Krom. So that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, but I'm sure that story would be a lot more interesting with a lot of with all the other characters that he can marry. And now that Yarn has joined us, we got the C rank with Long Ku and Payne. So let's go ahead and see those. Hmm. Yarn, what are you staring at? I'm trying to read your face and find out if you're cheating on Mother. What? Cheating? I'd never do such a thing. You know Pain is the only woman I could stand to be near. <sighs> Alright then, if you're telling the truth... Why would you think I was cheating? Is someone spreading rumors? <laughs> nope, the idea just popped into my head the other day. You see, I got to thinking. What would happen to me if you suddenly decided Mother wasn't good enough? See, I'd been assuming that all I had to do was make sure you both stayed alive. Eventually you'd have me, and poof, my existence would be guaranteed. But that would all change if you left Mother for another woman before I was born. 
the very instant you made the decision, I would just wink out of existence. The thought of it all sends a chill down my spine. Brrr. This is ridiculous. Don't mess with a bunny. What the fruit? So I'm going to be a very close eye on you. Make sure you toe in line. Now hold on one minute. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll make an exception for temporary de dalliances during battle. Just so long as the fraternizing stays on the battlefield. Anyway, I'll get... I've got to be going. But remember, I'm watching you. That's a weird one. Okay. Kind of a crummy son you got there, Payne. Hopefully you have a better interaction with him, though. You. Yeah, I... What do you want? Hmm. Are you trying to avoid me? Hmm. What? Me? Avoid you? Gosh, no. It's just I... I just had an urgent errand I was going to attend to. Right. What kind of an errand? Collecting provisions? Perhaps I could accompany you. What? Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just... Yes. Is there a problem? <laughs> no, not exactly. Please. Enough of this prevarication. We are kin, yes? <laughs> of course, but... Well, but what? Uh... The mother in my future died when I was still young, before I could remember. I don't know what it's like to have a mother, especially a Togwell mother. Neither do I. I have no idea how Togwell mothers and children interact with each other. My friends and kin were taken from me by humans when I was still an infant. Hmm? So you have no idea how you're supposed to act either? <laughs> I do not, but does it matter? We could forge a new tradition of what it means to be a Togwell mother and son. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a great idea! We'll learn how to be family together. Oh, that was kind of nice. It's just that the long coup one was kind of crummy. I didn't really appreciate that. I kind of wish he was given a break after having so much stress on him for so long. Uh, I'm actually going to check my inventory real quick before going to the battle. Let's see if I... Wow, Arc Thunder is actually run kind of low. Yeah, because last battle was insane. Where, like, I fought, like, a bajillion dudes. Uh, we could buy Arc Thunder now, can't we? There's Arc Fire. Uh... Let's see if I could find the location of that. But yeah, last episode was a trip, to say the least. We got L Thunder. We picked it up, though, didn't we? So, and I assume we'll be going further. Yeah, so we can't actually can get I that. Let's go and get her an L Thunder just so she has something. Uh, I decided to do something a bit different with Tharja. I gave her Mikaya's Pyre. I gave her a fire attack instead of a lightning attack, so... Uh, I guess we'll see how that turns out. Okay, after doing some finagling of the inventory, I am ready to head into Chapter 18. No. Just as I thought, the turn clocks only made a show of opposing us. We're clear of them. But Yenfrey's sources approach swiftly. It won't be long now. We should hasten south to meet them and distance ourselves from Walmart. This battle will be challenged enough without her, without the Conqueror breathing down our backs. Nonetheless, Another concern. The dynasts who betrayed us. They attacked us and let us go both because it suited their purpose. Should they attack us from behind as we bear to Yanfei, it would be an easy victory. They would curry favor with the Empire without risk of injury. This is how I think. Hmm. Mm. We cannot defend two fronts. We'll need to choose our battlefield carefully. Seiri, that mountain. I've seen smoke for hours, but I see no trees on it anywhere. Nay. What? Ah, that is the forest fire, sir. It's a volcano. Have you never seen one? That one is called the Demon's Ingle. It is known as the feared it is known and feared by all people of Valm. Few dare even get close, lest they anger the wicked fire god. Hmm. Robin, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I see. 
Only if you're wondering how quickly we can reach the volcano. Go to the demon Zingel? Do you know what you're saying? All right. I'm saying your optimistic former friends wouldn't dare risk following us. And we could use the flames as barriers to limit how your brother's army approaches. Hmm. And my brother will still come. His stubborn pride will force his hand. Right. Then it seems we have our strategy. So be it. It is a risky plan, but I devised none better. And you two seem to have a peculiar talent for performing miracles. Well, we're in a volcano now. Uh, Selector, we can't... Oh, what? Do we get a new ally in here? I don't think you do. Why can't we bring Noe back? Well, that's crummy. I don't want Noe to be gone. Um. Oh god, why is Sumia the first one I consider when booting someone out? Oh, I feel really bad about this. I liked having our team, like, I thought we were doing good. Like, there's gotta be a reason for it. Maybe we'll be able to get them back in the next chapter, but... Uh, sorry, Sumia, I guess you're benched for now. Uh, if we ever get a chance to bring you back, you'll be the first one on our list, though I promise you that. Uh, now I was looking at the pairings on who could uh, team up and sub and who has communication sessions. Olivia and Payne have one, so I'm going to make sure that they're teamed up. And I really want to see if we could get Cherish and Lanku's story before the game is over. So we're going to keep them close. Sayri, Tharja... Uh, I want to max out Krom and Lissa and Robin and Frederick this turn, or this uh, chapter. Uh, Lucina, Noe, Anna. I guess we're good? Because Tharja doesn't have any other communication sessions with anyone else, I think. Uh, I think, like, she only interacts with boys and, uh, Robin. So that's kind of unfortunate. Or, well, and Noe, but... Yeah, so we can't pair up with anyone else anymore. Anna is a Robin sexual, as my friends like to call it. Uh, Sayri is also a Robin sexual. A.K.A. she only talk to Robin. Um... Anna is also a Robin sexual. Well, did I say that first, though? I don't know. Uh, Lucina? Krom? She interacts with mostly the child units, so... Huh. I guess Sayri, Tharja, Lucina, Noe, Anna. I guess that's gonna be it. Oh, there's treasure chests. Good to know. There's a lot of them. Uh, I guess I could strategy for you to uh, check our inventory and see if we have any keys. Keys! No, we do not. Okay, so we gotta rely specifically on Anna. So who do I want to pair her up with? Because that's kind of important. Noe would be nice because she doesn't do go down that often. Sayri doesn't either. Tharja would be great. I'm gonna go with Tharja. And we'll do that. Okay. I'm okay with this. Let's go! What? Why, General, you're such a melancholic air about you today. Whatever is the problem? Oh, is today the day you face off against your beloved sister? Dear me, of course it is. Well, then, of course, you'd be in a foul mood. She is a rebel and a traitor to the Empire. Really? Oh, very good, very good. Right out of the book, General Yenfei. And I commend your acting ability. Very convincing. I think your men all heard you. In any case, I'm so glad I could trust you not to take it easy on her ragtag little troop. 
Yes, we both know why you'd never let any of her comrades escape, don't we? Oh, I know it must be so difficult, General. But think of it this way. You still have a family. A big one. The whole Imperial Army is your family now. Well, I should run. Do tell your little sister I said hello. Ta-ta! We're already facing off against Yenfei. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. So the battlefield is going to continuously get smaller and smaller, and you're allowed to stand on these parts, but after every turn you'll take damage, so it's not recommended you stand on the lava, as if you needed me to tell you that. So I'm pairing up... Uh, this is actually kind of a bad chapter. I gave Cherish and... Uh, who else was it? Cherish and Pain a Seed of Trust, which... Uh, built support between two paired units when possible. It can only be used during battle, obviously, because you can't pair them up uh, on the world map. Mm, this is probably not a good chapter to use that, though, because we're running against the clock when it comes to these hazards. So, uh, if I have a chance to use it, I will, but if not, then I'll save it for later. Olivia, go with Pain. Uh, Tharja. Anna, go with Tharja. Uh, let's have Robin with Frederick. Lissa with Krom. Lucina might be on her own because of our uneven number. Uh, we definitely want to get Seiri in a uh, battle against Yenfei, so Noe will be protecting her, so Seiri will go with Noe. And Cherish, or Longku will go with Cherish so he can fly over the lava. And Lucina's on her own. So, let's get started. Uh, switch that around because I was checking my stats earlier before. Uh, if we switch around... Olivia could KO a guy! I never thought I'd see the day. Let's go for it. Well, we got dual silver swords right here. It's kind of cool. So considering going on like a forging spree and just forging every single weapon I have uh, until I run out of money, but I was just like, eh, it takes effort, and it's not really all that necessary, so it would be definitely necessary for a... Uh, a non-easy mode playthrough, but I'm on easy mode, so I don't really care. Uh, we'll keep it like that. What do we got? Me weaving horrible, awful hexes. Oh, those are just practice curses, honest. Uh, weapon proficiency, that's nice. Uh, let's go with Krom and Lissa. Let's see. Uh, the Rapier always does more damage, but like, I don't know, I just don't feel right about using it for whatever reason. Uh, Alyssa is not suited for this guy. Uh, though I should check just to see... Uh, what weapon does more. Okay, so have her on the hammer. Switch to Krom. Uh, I guess, why not? Go for it. I know, I just like having the rapier in our, uh, inventory. And I don't want to end up losing it before the LP is over. Just don't want to have it break. And Krom is level 10. No one can stop me now. Let's have Krom and Robin. Krom on and slam. Or no, uh, Frederick and Robin, so I can't Krom on and slam. But we could pick a god of prey if we're lucky. Eh, that's good too, I guess. Right. Uh, we got a concoction. It's just a stronger healing item. Uh, it's somewhere to what we, Wait, no, it isn't a stronger healing item. Okay. Uh, get rid of the money, I guess. Uh, Lucina, come on down over here. Stand by your mother. Let's have Cherish go turn around right there. And there you go. Very easy for the two of them. Onku goes to level 7. And finally, we got... Uh, the team of Noe and Seiri. Okay, enemy phase. And it starts... Okay. Making things a bit easier for us. I appreciate it. So, are we both going to get forced into the middle? Is that how that's going to work? I assume part of it's going to say because like, the boss doesn't move all that much. No, only one way to find out is uh, waiting with time, I guess. Very much liking this... Uh, tag team right here. Up next we got... Uh, Cherish, can you take care of this guy? Thank you! Oh, was that a griffin? 
might have been. Oh, the was like, mm-hmm. Was it, though? I don't even know. Uh, Silver Axe, that's good for her. I'm not worried. Uh, I'm kind of worried when she takes that much damage. Kind of would prefer you dodge it, but whatever. And, uh, wow, that's got to be a really stinking painful for, like, Olivia and Tharja, because I don't think they wear shoes. Here it comes. By the way, speaking of Tharja, like, I'm sure a lot of people know that uh, in Smash 4 there was supposed to be a Tharja trophy, but they got rid of it because uh, Tharja's outfit was too risque for the game to be rated E10, so they just got rid of it. But, um, she appears as a spirit in Smash Ultimate, and all the Fire Emblem characters have full body artwork for uh, their spirits, except for Tharja. She just has the profile shot because seeing her entire body would be apparently too inappropriate, but like, her shirt is like the same as her pants. Like she just has this like giant stinking stocking. So I don't know. Also, like if you have all these problems with Tharja in general, why are you uh, trying to force her as a spirit? Like just for fan demand? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna give her the short spear just to see if we could pass that on to Frederick if we get the chance. Uh, Frederick isn't at risk of right, right now weapon, but like he doesn't have a basic. Uh, spears at the moment, so if we could trade off to him, we could. If not, I think we should be fine. And they keep running up. Player phase. There that goes. Uh, let's see. Go over here. Not much we could do right now. Uh, that's Pain and Olivia, so I could use the Seed of Trust. And now that's taken care of. Go over here. Uh, let's have... Anna in the front? Uh, how many people are around here? Uh, I gotta protect her because of the treasure chest, that's right, so... I could attack from here. No, I can't, it's too far. Okay. I'll just do this then. Uh, Lucina took damage, unfortunately, that's kinda lame. Uh, Cherish... All the way over here. Uh, this guy does not have anything that he would drop, like a key, so we're just gonna have to get rid of him. Yeah, just get rid of him. Just making progress. How lame is that? Very good. So how was your day today, buddies? I had an audition for something. A friend wanted me to audition for like their acting thingy. And uh, it went okay, I think. They laughed a lot and they, liked, they seemed to have liked it. But like, all of them were actors as well. So like maybe they were just acting like they liked it and they actually hated it. And as soon as I left, they were just like talking about how horrible I was. I don't know what I... what to think or do so like i just spent the rest of the day being paranoid basically it's a good time uh, the woes of an actor uh lucina i mean you can take care of it but like there's no real benefit to that aside from you getting experience but you don't really need all that much uh let's go with frederick he could do it so let's do that I was sort of hoping for a pick and gun prey, but like they also need to have their friendship grow. So I guess it's important. Let's go over here. Swing around down here. Lucina can go right here. And enemy phase. Oh, his place. Oh, wait, no, he just ever so conveniently has a little circle around him so he doesn't take damage. How convenient. It's like he's the boss or something. I make deep cuts. 51. Satisfied. Satisfied indeed, Tharja. Her bolt broke. But we got an arc fire, so that's cool. Uh, well, one door closes, another one opens. Let's see how you are with fire. Uh, okay, I guess. Kind of prefer you with thunder, though. Also, I should switch you to uh, Nosferatu if you have it, so that you can start healing yourself. Uh, could we even buy Nosferatu? I feel like that'd be too powerful. I think Flux does the same thing. It heals uh, HP, but it's just not as powerful. Uh, I don't know, though. Let's go ahead and just do that little jab. Uh, kind of wish you could have finished him off, but no. Onku just didn't feel like stepping in right there. Uh, Noe and Seiri. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, thank you for... Uh, defending her, that's great. Oh, but you missed. So nothing was accomplished that day. It's getting kind of crowded over here on the spot. Uh, now that I think about it, it might have been uh, 
Well, I want to have Cherish and Monku grow their relationships, so I was about to say it would be better to have Anna with a flying member so she can get to the chest, but we uh, sort of benched our other flying member, so that's unfortunate. So yeah, we're at no risk of running into that those hazards in the back, but the ones in the front we'll just have to be aware of when we get closer. Oh, she does have Nosferatu, so for that reason, I will switch her over to it. Mist Attack could lead to a deadly encounter, but it will also heal our stinking booties. So we're going to go for this one. I'm not worried. Thank you. Got to get that HP. Cha-ching. And it's the stinking best. But friendship is good, Tharja. It's good to team up and stuff. Uh, unfortunately, we can't attack them, so we're going to have to leave it to one of these guys. Uh, let's have... Let's have Lissa take care of it. Switch over here. Uh, attack. Lissa hasn't gotten to KO anything recently. Oh, I forgot I gave her the hammer. Just, like, pounds that guy. Don't take that out of context. Go over here. Now we can take their spot. And we just keep on going. Uh, probably not necessary to put them over here specifically. Eh, we can still get around, so... Seems okay. Oh, uh, what do we got? We'll have... Uh, this is kind of weird. There's a lot of singing dudes here. Let's have... Uh, we'll switch over to Long Ku. Uh, is that all he could attack? Like, move somewhere with Cherish and then go and attack someone else with more HP. So it's, like, more worthwhile. Uh, he only has... He'll remain with 5 HP, but I have a feeling that we could combo him or get a critical. Thank you! Never question Long Q. And the power of teamwork, that's nice too. Uh, then again, I don't know if he did a double jab or if a killer lands, that's nice. Uh, I'll get rid of the ladle. Uh, Sayri. I really want to keep her alive, but... Noe? You doing okay? Uh, let's get rid of this guy. Because I definitely want to see the special dialogue if you have Sayri fight uh, Yenfei. Get that experience. Burr, 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 burr. Now we're talking. Enemy phase. Let's go. Keep on taking more damage. I appreciate that. So they definitely make it a bit easier for you. I wonder if the uh, position of the hazards appearing is different on different difficulties. I don't know. That seems too complex, but maybe it is a thing. Go and get rid of this guy. As long as no one can survive all these hits that are coming her way, we should be getting rid of a couple guys this round. Uh, taking damage, unfortunately. Oh boy. Uh, who are you in for? Lissa. Ouchies. Oh, you made her angry. Yes. Level up right there. So I've more or less recovered from my sickness. I was like going on for like a month. I was just coughing like crazy. Like the first half of it, I actually felt sick, but like the second half, I felt fine. It was just that I was coughing constantly to the point where I was like being difficult to breathe. So that was really unfortunate. But now I'm like 99% better. But like I'm still coughing at all, so it's kind of unfortunate. I just want to. Have that completely done over with because uh, performances that are coming up and still need to record and whatnot. Honestly, like, not that I'm not having fun with this game, but like, I'm really excited to finally finish it because the LPM recording after this will be super, super calming on my voice. So I'm looking forward to that. It'll be a nice reward to end off year seven. Uh, it's not gonna be the last LP of year seven, it's just the last thing I have to record. Uh, sort of. Oh, well, sorry. I'm super confused with everything I have to do. Uh, we'll go do that. Get rid of this guy. Booty up. It's like dragon up. Uh, thank you for missing. Oh, we didn't see criticals from pain all that often. Very cool, though. Uh, what level is she? She's level 26, so it maxes out level 30. 
which is kind of unfortunate that we're getting there, but uh, I like that they kind of allow you to keep the beast characters in their beast form if you decide to do so, and they like uh, help you along the way if you uh, go down that road. What do we got? How would you feel about fighting together in the next battle? Certainly, I'll devise some strategies and drop by later, unless our relationship status maxes out in this battle, in which case I will never see you again. Uh, over here we got uh, 6 HP though. Uh, Lucina, can you reach him? He can't. If you can reach him from here. Mm, let's go for it. Go and do that. Please dodge. Thank you. There you go. And we can just have them stand right here next to each other. Ooh, I could also heal. How nice. Uh, Restores distant ally, fortify. Okay, we'll go with Lucina. Well, I was actually using this as a healer for once. Hooray. Uh, let's go with... So just these two groups. Um, No, we could only attack this guy, so... Just get rid of him, I guess. Hand up isn't as funny as booty up, so... No real need for, uh... Calling attention to that. But he does get a level up, so that's very nice. Uh, level 22. Uh, I feel like I could take on a whole army. Well... That's a good thing, Noe, because you are taking on a whole army multiple times. It's like all you do. Uh, let's go for this guy. Go and do that. Dodge it. There you go. I don't know. It's like so crazy going on in this chapter after um, a previous one that was like so stinking difficult. And they're taking even more damage still. They're not very smart, it seems. Uh, Alyssa, can you survive this? Or dodge it, that's even better. Would have liked if Krom helped you finish him off, but no, I guess we can't have everything. Uh, thank you for dodging that. Oopsie doopsie. Ouchies. And everyone's just, like, finishing off. Like, everyone's just, like, attacking us with their magics. So they'd be like, oh, I don't have to get hurt by you. So you only have two mages, like two and a half, because I guess Sumia is a mage now, but I just never use her for that. Uh, let's have Anna. Huh. Sina, you're gonna go. You're gonna go here, I guess. Whatever it takes. Uh, relationship grow? No. We get. I guess we're gonna have these guys go for this guy. Like, I, I don't really have much to say because, like, it's not nearly as intense as that previous battle was, so I'm just like, okay, this is fine. Just having a good old time slaying some fire and blows. It's funny looking back at, like, my Brawl LP when I was doing all the bios for the characters, like, I could not figure out what to say for the Fire Emblem characters because I didn't know who any of them were. But, uh, for. Uh, after several years, I actually know who they are now. Not all of them, obviously, but I have a vague idea of what the franchise is like, and I very much enjoy it. Looking very forward to Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um, as far as I've been in that many jokes, calling it like Fire Emblem Tree Houses, because I'm pretty sure Tree House does the uh, dubbing for that. Uh, Lissa would die? That's not cool. Uh, let's go and do that, then. I think we're also standing in the hazard area. So that's kind of unfortunate, but Krom should be okay for a little while. Uh, yeah, he's in the hazard, so he'll take damage next turn. Uh, Noe, why don't you get rid of this guy? Uh, do Noe say no? They don't have any uh, communication things, so maybe it would be better for the other group. But if there's no one for Longku and Chairs to fight, then I could. Uh, yes, I can. We'll go ahead and use the second. Is he the only one left? Um, yeah, he's the only one left. Wow. Okay, so just open up these chests and we'll be good to go. Uh, switch to Cherish. Use the Seed of Trust. And I guess that's it, because no one else could open up these chests. 
Oh, I guess that's true. We do run the risk of dying to fire. So we should fix that. We should make we should amend that. I'm gonna open up this chest with Anna energy drop. See if we can get Cherish over to Anna, so uh not what I wanna do. Uh that's better. Just so we could get her moving quicker. Uh, Seiri, we want you to fight Yenfei, so we will be bringing you over here. I'm gonna pair you up with Robin, just because I know you benefit from communications with that and a better um, stat buff, so I will trade you a Frederick for a Seiri. Uh, I guess you guys could just stand in the middle because I don't have that much else left for you to do. Just losing more ground. Unfortunately, I think Cherish is in the back, so we can't fly just yet. Okay, we'll switch to her. Wait it out. Lissa. I guess we could do something. We could have you heal some people. I'm pretty sure you can't die on the field from hazard, so like, if you have a character on 1 HP standing above hazard, they'll just like, take zero damage, so... I don't have to worry about that, at least. Uh, we'll just go over here. Uh, you go right here. And you go... Right here, I guess I just don't want to like, run up and attack us. He can't move much, though, so... Stand right here. Wait it out. That spot's gone. Oh no, it loses the treasure as well. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Well, at least we get this one. It is a rescue. No, that great. That's unfortunate that we didn't get that one. Hopefully, it wasn't anything too awesome. But for now, let's see if we can finish them off. Uh, hello. Huh. Not quite. Uh, let's uh, be on backup just in case we need you to heal someone. Actually, do it afterwards, because you could do that. You could heal from far. Brother, I won't ask you why. We are well beyond that point now. I will speak it plain. I cannot forgive you. And neither can I let you live. What, Drivel? I have asked you for nothing, sister. Least of all your forgiveness. <clears throat> but you will have my justice, like it or no. You, who stood in silence while everyone around you suffered. While villages were raised and fields burned, you watched but said nothing. When father and mother were murdered, you said nothing. Nothing. Before you ran to the arms of the one man responsible for all of it. Your silence was deafening, maddening. Even now, have you nothing to say? How dare you! Then I will make your sword answer for you. Draw your blade and let it sing your final words. She can take any damage. Let's finish this up. Let's do it. Such strength. Siri, you have grown so strong. Do, do you mock me? I have seen your best sword play. That was not it. You went easy on me, but why? What I could not tell you in life, I will say in my death. Seiri. You have found 
Strong comrades, I no longer need fear for you. I die in peace. How do you mean? Yenfei, wait! What do you mean? Why? Don't leave me with more silence. Not this time. Yenfei! Victory is secured. Yen Fei has fallen. I will never understand why he joined Walmart. His reasons die with him. <laughs> but oh, what a death it was! Did you see the grief etched on his face? The mix of laughing, of longing, and pain in his eyes? He had become such an accomplished actor, but that was all too real. <laughs> Exilus, what would you know of my brother, you loathsome toad? What? More than you, Princess of Chosen, and I would patch that mouth of yours. I am honoring Yenfei's sacrifice by not killing you now, but even I have my limits. Mm. What? What do you mean, sacrifice? Oopsie, did I just spill the beans? I'm so sorry, but I promised you to your brother I'd never tell. Fine. Explain yourself, snake, or die. Really? Bah, as if you could harm me. You only live by my grace, you ungrateful wretch. I could have killed you countless times, and I would have if not for him. How do you mean? Enough talking around it. Say what you mean. Mm. Ooh, did Yenfei not groan out the truth as you cut him to bloody pieces? No, I suppose not. He was always so quiet and proud. Honorable, I think they call it. Yet he swallowed his pride and cast aside his honor, all to protect his beloved kin. That's right, little sis. Did it to save you. What? Lies! You're lying! No, I'm telling the truth, which I admit is a rare treat, so you best shut up and enjoy it. Before we met these Elysians, I could have had your head with us without a word. In Chosen, at Valm Harbor, did you really think yourself so elusive? You were my leverage for Yenfei. Unwitting and unbound, but a hostage all the same. I let you live. He fought for us. That was our deal. And he kept his end right to his end. No! Well, I don't know much about you, but I feel much better having that off my chest. Maybe I will give this truth telling a try more often. I shall resolve to do so. In any case, goodbye, friends. I wish you safe travels and so sorry about Yenfei. Whoops, I broke my resolution twice already. Tee Yenfei. No, this isn't. This can't be. Seiri. Gods, the things I said to him, the things I did, I have wronged him beyond imagining. If he had only spoken, told me, I could have joined the ruse, I... Milady, I know well the grief of losing family with so much yet unsaid. 
I'm wretched. I've repaid my brother's kindness with death. Oh, Yenfei, <laughs> forgive me. Please, oh, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sayri, you did all you could. Your brother knew that. But you are blameless in this. Exilus and the Empire are at fault here. And they will be made to answer for it, I promise you. Mercy, friend. Sir Clom, I... You have done so much for this land, while I give nothing in return. Or worse, what help I offered turned against us. Hey. We are the resistance now, and we've yet to lose a battle. Yenfei would be proud. And he'd also want us to fight on, to make sure his sacrifice has meaning. And fight we will, Seiri, until this land is free. I, my lady, I owe my life to you all, and to my brother. I swear to you, and to him, I will make most of it. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we'll make sure Yenfei's sacrifice was not in vain. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.